Hey, Breaker Breaker 49er. Church on Sunday 49er. <laughs> 49, yeah, Church on Sunday 49. Hey there, hi there, how y'all doing out there? <laughs> Church on Sunday is 49, and um, this, 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 this video, going back to, going back to, going back to the one thing, that this is all what I'm trying to tell you, are you listening to me? Ah. Better be, bad bad take, because I think what I got to say is important. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of people out there that understand too. Even people, you know, like um, I told a story one time about how I was in Ukraine and I ran into these girls that were like some far from somewhere from Uzbekistan, but they believed in God. <clears throat> and we had this conversation. We were having this conversation about everything, and um, uh, and and she reached out to me and she goes, "Oh, you're my brother," and we were just just like. Right there in a the moment, and I told a story back in another video. If you're watching all these videos and suggestions, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so do that, do that. Remember, do that. Listen to the voice, listen to the videos in succession, because <laughs> then you'll understand a little bit more what I'm talking about. And believe me, they're all worth it, Burr. Because if your search is genuine, like I said, this is for people who are searching. This is for people who want to know. Because what I'm trying to tell you is what I did for myself. Because I wanted to know. But anyways, you know, so. So, um, like I said, I was in Uzbekistan, and then uh, I was on this other page on Facebook. Oh, brr, Facebook. I mean, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a blessing and a curse, uh, and I think it'll finally evolve to where it needs to be uh, eventually one day, hopefully, uh, with truth and pureness behind it um to you know allowing people to express clearly what they want to um and without any judgment there uh but you know you gotta sometimes keep the little bit of the the harsh stuff out of there but anyways i there i am preaching but anyways um so i'm on this i'm on this like uh, you know, it's like, it's a Christian page, but then there's people that come on, there's people that are Muslims that come on this Christian page, and there was this, and what just was really like, I know I was meant to see it because, um, it was a Muslim person, it was a Muslim woman, and she was, yeah, you know, I went to her page, and I looked at her page, and she looked like real, you know, like basic, like, probably living lower income Muslim in wherever she was living. But she had that spiritual understanding that we are, there's one God and that we're all God's children. And she even, she made some sort of reference to Christ too. So, you know, <clears throat> there's a great deal of understanding about the, under, the about the, uh, about the aspect of that there's one God and that we're all God's children and that, um, you know, and that Christ exists through that too. Okay. 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 Um, but where I was leading to about this, uh, this little episode I'm talking about here, um, I, something that I read that was absurd. Uh, just like the other day I read this, this, uh, I read this other thing that was absurd too. It was a news article about breaking flash. You shouldn't pat your dog on the head. Uh, somebody, some dangling wants to think, oh, no, you should approach them on this side. Oh, no, you should do this. Oh, don't pat your head, dog on the head. Oh, no, what will I do? I've had my dog for 10 years. I should stop. Oh, no, or she's going to have problems. No, 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 no. You know what? I, I, you know, I call pat my dog on the head, and she'll, like, it's kind of like she squints her eyes, and then she presses her head into my hand as I'm doing it, too. So, you know, I mean... Some of the stuff that people put out there is just, and I would like to talk about something else, but we don't need to go there. Some of the stuff that people say out there is just ridiculous. And one of the things that somebody said out there is that you should let your children pick their own religion. Oh, really? Just let your kids meander along and make any decisions that they want so they can be lost and blah, 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 and going around. No, 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 no. God gives children parents for a reason, okay, to help teach them and direct them, okay? And, and I say this because uh, if there's one religion... And I don't even want to call religion. I don't even want to base. I, you know, religion should just be 
<laughs> out. Um, why can't we all just call him God? You know, and um, if there's one thing that you should teach your children, not to me, I, and you know, it's kind of interesting. You see all like the different uh, Hollywood people, like, oh, they're now they're into this religion. Oh, they're now trying to find themselves in this religion. And you know, it's like they're be bopping around that when it's really simple. The only thing you need is a God and having a relationship with God. Okay, that's what you need. And that's all you need, really. You don't need somebody barking their, uh, barking their preaching or whatever it is that they're telling you. It's about relationship. Yeah, it's about relationship. It's about having a relationship with God through, and we could also call it prayer and meditation. Okay, so when you're when you're trying to tune into your spiritual voice, you can go into a prayer mood, right? And you can ask God, talk to God, just like you would any God. I need to know this. But it's never going to be a magic wand that's going to go poofy, poofy, poofy. Sometimes he's not going to answer you right there because your faith is not at a point where an instantaneous message can be said. You have to have patience. You have to have. You have to exercise faith with your spiritual voice and the development of your spiritual voice too. You have to have faith and patience for the development of that before you can reach. Before you can go to another level. Just like I'm saying, you know, that I had been practicing my faith in other areas and then there was that one day when I was at the zoo and you need to turn around and go the other way but it was all the other stuff that I'd done before that so you know back to where we were at you know letting your children choose religion no 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 <clears throat> choose for them to have a relationship with God through prayer and meditation. Being able to teach them how to have a relationship, that's where you need to teach them. And the people out there that say, well, what if there's no God? You know what? You, you, all you have to do is stop and think for the moment and look at the complexities of creation. Just look at creation. Look at the in-depth intricacies of nature. All the, and you know what? And that's huge, huge, it's huge the in-depth creation. And to think that all that just happened, come on, man, come on, come on, come on. So, you know, I'm but, you know, sort of going down a path of religion is just, to me, is unnecessary because, you know, it always boils down to the basics, you know? Uh-huh, and everything, you know, like in sports, and, you know, it always boils down the fundamentals and the basics. You know, <clears throat> when we come to, uh, like, a humanity, mm -hmm, always boils down to basic human psychology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when it comes to spirituality, what does it boil down to? It boils down to the basic aspect of having a relationship with God through prayer and meditation, through speaking, through a communicating, communicating and speaking, <laughs> and, 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 communi and by that, and you know, uh, you got to go back and check out the other videos uh, too, as far as you want to find a highway to God, you want to find a highway, that's going to be through meditation, some of those, 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 those videos that I talked about, and some of those other um Mm-hmm. If you listen in succession, you know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Because, other, you know, and I'm going to talk about stuff again because, you know, it's worth repeating this for darn tootin' straight. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. So, you know, back to the, uh, you know, teaching your children how to have a, how, and, and, and God, you know, because that's where you need to be grounded in. You need to be grounded in having a relationship, period, and tuning into the closeness of that relationship because those, because like I said, like I said, those who, those who know peace know God. And to be able to find peace in your life instead of torment and, oh, what do I do? Oh, what do I do? Oh, what do I do? What do I make these decisions? Oh, look at what's happening in the world. No, you want, hey, river. Yeah, you want peace there, river. I mean, no religion out there that's right. I'm just not gonna. I'm just not gonna sign up for any of it. You know, to sit there and say, you know, uh, you know, I'm sure there's out there somebody going, oh well, no, look, he's from Satan because he's not. Duck, 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 duck. There you go with your judgment again. Religion has a lot of judgment in it. None of it's right. Okay, so there's just only one God, and we're all. All together now. Here we go. All together. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs>